Have you had your annual digital checkup? October is National Cybersecurity Awareness Month. Well, Facebook has your five-step guide to staying safe online. Victoria Grant is the Global Head of Policy Programs at Facebook and joins us this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Carly. Oh, I have so many questions to ask you this morning. Facebook, I think, just as popular as Google and anything else these days. Question number one, I think security-wise for me, and maybe many others out there this morning, I feel like so many times when you log into something, you hear or you see the pop-up, hey, do you want to log in with Facebook? That's like our identity now. Is that okay? Is that secure? You know, it really is. And actually, if you have a hard time managing all of those passwords across the internet, it's not only super handy, but it's actually safer because you're entrusting a fewer number of services with that password. So it's safe and it's easier to use. Okay, my next question. I feel like Facebook is also changing their policies and kind of security a lot as well. How can we make sure we're staying up to date and making sure that our privacy settings are set up the way we want and understanding it too? Well, you know, you probably visit Facebook a lot, but when is the last time you checked your settings or that you did something called a security checkup? The security checkup is the single best thing that you can do to stay safe on Facebook, and it actually takes just a few minutes. It's so worth doing. It has three simple steps. The first is to create a unique password, and unique, Carly, is the most important thing to know there. You know, it's so tempting to use the same password across the Internet on every site we go on, but it actually means that we're susceptible to hacks if we do that. And we don't want to make just small changes like one letter or one number. You really want to have a whole new password because these hackers have some pretty sophisticated systems, and they can detect those smaller changes to the password. So unique password is critical. Uh, if you have trouble remembering your password, Password. There's an app for that. They're called Password Managers. You can download them. Uh, most of the time, I think they're free and they're really easy to use. So that's step one. The next step is email alerts. So you set up an email notification and that notifies you every time a new or an unknown device tries to log into your Facebook account. Uh, it gives you an email and it's sort of like a car alarm that goes off to let you know. And then the final one is called Verified Logins. And this is really finding out where uh, you're logged in with your Facebook account. I did this recently. You know, I do it about twice a year, and I discovered that I was logged into about two browsers and two apps that I hadn't visited in a couple of months. And so with one simple click of a button, you can go ahead and log out of those. All right, good to know. Anything else we should cover? The last question I had, too, I know, um, is I feel like we get a lot of status updates on Facebook has changed this and you need to do this. And can you trust those? I, I feel like they're kind of chain emails that get sent around in people's statuses. You know, whenever there are things that relate to security that Facebook is, is sending you to notify you, it is really important to pay attention to those and, again, to, to do what you can to stay safe, logging into that, you know, going ahead and doing that security checkup, doing something called two-factor authentication. This is sort of like the gold standard of security. And this is when you can sign up to basically get an alert whenever an unknown device or a new device is accessing your Facebook account. You get that alert and you can basically put in a code in addition to your password so that you have a double layer of security whenever there's a new device coming on. And that's really the best way to stay safe on Facebook. Awesome. All right, as we close here, any website or any place you would send us if we have any questions on anything? Carly, that's facebook.com backslash security checkup. Security checkup. We need to do them. Thank you so much. We appreciate your time this morning.